Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we come to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the account that was previously on the device. And so we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after doing a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. And after the purchase, the buyer discovered the phone was locked and obviously they didn't have the login information for the previous Google account. And in these cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared because it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the specific lock from this exact model without having to have the previous Google account login information. It's a process that we do directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer directly through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we've done right here with this one. So actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the steps and the work necessary to remove the lock from the phone. And so now the last step is just to restart it once and then we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing the Google account lock. So just hold on while it finishes restarting here. Okay, so we've got the welcome screen loaded up. We're going to go ahead and start going through the initial setup steps by tapping start there. First thing it's going to bring us to is Wi-Fi, but we don't actually need that, so we're just going to turn it off and skip. And then we have to agree to all of Samsung's terms and conditions, so we're going to hit next and agree. And then we have to agree to all the Google services. We don't need to put a name on the phone, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that for now. We also don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step as well. We're not going to put a Samsung account on it, so skip that too. We don't need to transfer any content, so again, that step gets skipped. And then we don't need smart switch. We don't need any other functions turned on. We don't need to download any other apps. We're going to hit finish. And there we go. We're all set. We're all the way through the setup process. We've got the home screen loading up here and we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go under phone, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy S7 Edge. And then the specific model number here of the one that we're working with is the SMG935U. Once my focus decides to cooperate here. This is a device that Samsung actually sold directly uh, directly by them and already SIM unlocked. So this one actually didn't come from a carrier. So it's a little more rare than some of the other S7 models, but we've still had lots of customers contacting us about it, hence the reason for making the video today. So if you happen to have one of these exact same models with the Google Lock enabled and need help getting that off, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday.
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.